Hi there, guys. Welcome back into another video about creating a virtual private cloud. In this uh, lab, we are going to create a VPC, and this time we are not going to use the wizard. We are going to start building the VPC a component by a component. So this is will enable us to uh, basically understand the VPC structure in AWS. So the first thing I will do is to go to AWS. You can see here I have my AWS console. And now let us go and create the first task, which is creating the VPC. So we want to go to the VPC console from here. And we can see we have two VPCs. Now this is the default VPC, and this is can be clear from the IP address, which is 172.31.0.0, which is basically enable you to create and to have a default VPC. So you can create your resources and you start doing some work in AWS without creating a VPC, especially when you want to do some testing and experiment. Now there is a shared VPC and this shared VPC, we will use it later on in uh, the coming task in order to create a peer to peer connection. Now let us go and click on create a VPC. Now the name of this VPC is going to be lab, lab VPC. And the IP address, the CIDR, it's going to be 10.0.0.0 with a slash 16. Now we want to choose create from here, and this is will create a VPC. Now, once this VPC is created, you will select it. And now we want just to make sure that any resources we create in this VPC will get a domain name system. And with this is, will be uh, happening by enabling a DNS. So we are going to edit a DNS host name and enable. Now, after we do this, we want just to close this uh, lab VPC and then we go back to create subnets in this VPC. Following to the diagram that we can see here, now, now in this lab VPC, we want to add a public subnet and a private subnet. So we are going to create a subnet and this will be in the lab VPC and we will select it as, or we name it as public subnet. Now this is going to be in the first availability zone and this is going to be 10.0.0.0. Now this is going to be a segment of the IP address of the virtual private cloud, our VPC. And so we will give it like a slash 24. Click on create. The next step guys is to create another um, subnet. And this is, will be basically uh, to select the public subnet. Okay. And from that public subnet, we want to go to action. And from action, we want to uh, modify auto assign IP setting and we want to select auto assign IPv4. So this is basically will enable us to have any resources in this VPC to get basically um, an IP address from the DHCP server. Click save. Now we need to create another subnet. This is, will be a lab VPC and this time it will be called the private subnet. Now in the same availability zone, which is the first US East 1A and the IP block is going to be 10.0.2.0 with a slash 23. So you can see here we allocate more uh, spaces for the private subnet and click on a create. Now we want to create an internet gateway in task three. So in task three, you want to go to the internet gateway and click on create. Now the name of this internet gateway is going to be lab IGW, create an internet gateway. Now the next step is going to basically go to the internet gateway Going back, select the lab internet gateway and from action, we want to attach it to a VPC. We are going to select the lab VPC from this um, uh, text field and this attach 
the internet gateway which means now any resources we create in our public subnet will be able to access the internet and they will be accessible from the internet in task four now we want to create a route table now you could see from here that you have only in this particular lab you have only lab vpc with main equal yes and this is pointing to one destination because we haven't added an add gateway yes before so we need to uh, before we add an add gateway we need to create a public route table and we will call this now a private route table and now select the lab vpc and this will create a route table Oh, sorry, uh, just let me go back one second. In step number uh, 21, we want to select the lab VPC. So this is with main equal yes. And this is from the previous classes, we call this private route table. Click save. Now, after you save this as a private route table, now we need to go and create a public route table. So we're going to call this public route table. Now this is going to be in the lab VPC. So create a route table. Now from this crowd table, we need to go to the routes that we have. So this is our public route table and both they are in the same lab VPC. So you could verify your work. From the routes, we edit routes and we add and now we say for any other ip which is 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0 go to the igw or to the internet gateway so if you select internet gateway this is the lab inter uh, internet gateway that i just create click save now go back into that public route table we want to do a subnet association of course we want to link with it the public subnet because it says a public route table. Now we want to create um, that public route table is now giving us an, an internet access because we link it to the internet gateway. The next thing in task four is to go to security group. We create a security group and this security group is going to be an app security group. which will allow an HTTP traffic to our public subnet resources. So you need to delete the default one and select the lab VPC. We need to add a rule for HTTP. And this is will be from anywhere. Click now in create a security group. Now we want to launch an application server in that public subnet. So we are going to go to the EC2. And from the EC2, we will launch an instance. It will be with Amazon Linux 2. It's going to be T2 Micro. Now we want it to be in our lab VPC, in our public subnet as well and we want to uh, basically uh, you can see now we have auto assign ip enable now in the user day in the role section so we want this ec2 to assume a role so there is a role we need to attach to it and this is can be done by this option here and select an inventory app role now in the user data, we want to copy the script, which is basically to install Apache web server and put a demo application in our web server. Now next add storage, add tag, and we need to call this name, app server. 
and now in configure security group we are going to select the existing security group we just created which is the app security group review continue and launch Now this is the instance, it should be running. We need to open this web server here and we paste the uh, uh, URL or the public IP of the app server. So this is pretty much what we have done in this lab. We create a VPC and then we attach to it and, uh, two subnets and one of them is an internet gateway. You could also carry on if you want to practice more. You can carry on in that VPC. You create an at gateway and then you link it to the a private subnet. And in your private subnet, you could do many things. For, thank you for seeing this video and um, hopefully I will see you in the next one.